Yo, how's it going ladies and gentlemen, it's Crazy Game Monkey here, and in this video I'm going to show you the newest and easiest method of 2022 on how to install custom songs onto Synthwriters. I did make a previous video last year, but it is unfortunately outdated now, and the file location, it is different. And shout out to the few people in my comment section that was helping out uh, recently, the newer commenters on how to install with the new file location. So that's why I'm making this new and improved video. Hopefully it's a little bit easier and as well I could show you how to transfer your songs from your old file location to the new file location. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this link down in the description below. This is where you could download the custom songs. So it's pretty much synthwriters.com slash beatmaps. It could take you to this website, but you could go to custom songs and right here is where you download all the songs that you would like. The uh, first things first is you do actually need to run synth writers at least once. So that way it creates a file location that you could move the songs onto. Once you go ahead and run that application, you could exit out and you could download any of the songs that you want on to your PC. So I'm going to download a few songs. If you hover over any of the songs, you could play like a preview, view leaderboards, etc., etc. But what we want to do is download the songs. So we're just going to download these first four up here. So all you got to do is click download. It's going to download itself. Download again. This one. And this one. All right. So we have four songs. If we open my file location, you can see I recently downloaded these ones. So these are the ones that we're going to move. Now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and connect your Oculus Quest. So this is my Quest right now. So let me plug it in to, your PC, to my PC. You want to plug it into your PC and you're going to get this message that pops up. It's going to ask you if you want to allow access to data. What you want to do is you want to click allow. Careful not to press don't show again because then things get more complicated. So just click the blue button that says allow. Once you do that, then you're going to get this window on your screen. And you're going to want to open this up. Now, before it was under the Android section, and then you will go to data, and then you will go under Synthwriters application on here. And then you will go to files, and then you would go to, yeah, it's just really complicated, custom songs. And right here are the old songs that I did have, which no longer show up on my thing. But right now, we're going to concentrate on how to do it from scratch. So, once you run the application Synthwriters, then you're going to get this folder, which is called Synthwriters UC. You instantly click it. And then right here, right away, you get the custom songs folder. So you want to get your custom songs. You could drag it, copy it, cut it, whatever you would like. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. Just wait. And it's that easy. That's all you need to do. You can now exit out. If you want, you could unplug your quest as well. Let me go ahead and unplug it. And I'm going to go ahead and run the synth writers game. And there is going to be a section which is synth uh, custom songs. And I'll show you in a few. All right, you just got to let it load. Once the game loads up, then you're pretty much all set. And now you're able to enjoy a lot more songs. If only my game will load. There you go. All right. So you could either play solo, multiplayer, party mode. We're going to do play solo. Solo, sorry. And then right here, you see custom songs. And then any of these, you could pretty much do. So those are the songs that we downloaded. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out. You could also do multiplayer. You could do party mode. As long as your friends have the same exact custom song, then you are able to pretty much do it. Uh, play the same song. Oh, sorry. The audio was muted. Let me go ahead and play. But yeah, so these are the custom songs. So these are the songs that we had downloaded, which were four. You could exit out. And that is pretty much it. If you want to learn how to transfer the songs onto your new uh, file location, all you got to do is plug in the quest again. Let me show you really quick. Click allow. And then right here, you're going to go into here. So pretty much you want to go to the location where I showed you Android data, synth writers, files, custom songs. 
So now if I move all these custom songs that I had before, you could cut them, go all the way back to internal storage, paste them back on here. Now all those songs that you had before are going to show up on the Synthwriters app. So let me go ahead and launch it one more time. And now we're going to see more than four songs on my Oculus Quest. And it's that simple, that easy. And it's pretty fun because sometimes you are limited with a few amount of songs. Although they did add a good amount of songs, but it's always great to have much more songs, especially the ones that you love, you like, without even have, having to spend a penny. And if you guys found this video helpful, please, 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 I would highly appreciate it if you guys could leave a like. And you see, all those songs are now there. Pretty cool, right? And yes, they do work. If you click play, you're able to play the song. Right now I am sitting down, so I might not reach. Yeah, I can't reach, oh, not really. But yeah, that's it. Like I said, if you guys did find this video helpful, I would highly appreciate it if you could leave a like and consider subscribing as well. And leave a comment down below just saying hi. It's Crazy Game Monkey, highly appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys for stopping by, sorry about that. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.